Well, I think, I think uh, there, there are two main points in, in the speech. Uh, one is that for the, the study of industrial cinema, of course, needs to be adapted to changes in the economic structure. And uh, a lot of the, the early work in, in cinema studies on industrial film has focused on the classical period uh, of the 20th century, mid-20th century, where the firm within a national economic framework was a dominant unit of, of economic activity. Um, we now live in a world where uh, global value chains uh, abound and where um, the, the, the link between nat the national framework and, and industrial production is not nearly as strong as it used to be. Uh, this goes hand in hand with, with the growing uh, economic importance of cities as nodes of various activities, trade, service industries, uh, innovation. And, and so uh, this is, on the one hand, it's reflected in industrial cinema and in corporate films. And on the other hand, one might also say that media are drivers of that development. Because global value chains, in order to organize, organize a global value chain, you need to have uh, IT technology and you need to have advanced uh, communication technology to, to make that happen. So I would say that um, what we're seeing is that the core argument of, of the book that we published uh, 10 years ago, Films That Work, is still valid. You know, media are a an essential element rather than an accidental element of economic activity, but the organizational forms have radically changed and with it the, uh, the, 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 the formal strategies uh, of corporate films.